welcome back to a new video oh my gosh hi everyone <laughs> uh, in today's video i'm going to be using some added glam <laughs> i'm going to be using some madam glam products i've got the vanilla from their new collection the six plus collection and crispy cream um this is a nice sort of I don't know i was kind of going for vintage vibes with this set i've got this is called delphine it's the name of the foil from nail sugar it's very pretty it's one of my favorites so the first nail i am doing half of the nail with crispy cream and half of the nail with the vanilla um just try and get as neat as you can i'm not very neat you can always clean the center up with a clean up brush um or you can just try and be as neat as you possibly can <laughs> which is what i tried to do so i'm going to pop that in the lamp and then over that i'm going to do a second coat i did just like go slightly over i mean it doesn't matter as long as as long as it looks pretty neat because we're gonna go down the center of this nail with some gel paint or you could use striping tape um like i did in one of the sets i did last week the left side of this nail we are going to do um the vanilla it's going to be the vanilla on it that's i'm not making any sense it's one of those days you know <laughs> there we go pop that into the lamp and then go in with your second coat this is just going to enhance that beautiful gold shimmer i love this i love this collection it's so nice there we go so one side is a nice gorgeous gold and the other side is beige <laughs> it's not really beige i can't think of the color magnolia <laughs> so anyway um i've picked off a i snipped off a bit of foil and i'm going to put the roses on the glittery side not glittery but the shimmery side now before i do that i'm wiping off the sticky tacky layer because i only want the foil to stick where i've put the foil glue i'm using spd london's foil glue so this is literally going to go all the way over the gold gel polish gosh i'm really having to think i've done voiceovers for three videos today <laughs> and it's quite it's getting on now I've just done my kids dinner and i'm getting tired there we go pop that in the lamp that cures for 60 seconds then i'm gonna literally it touched it and i was like damn it i did not want you there so i had to pick it up slightly and put it back on but this is going to stick so well to that foil gel glue foil gel glue yeah um, i'm just rubbing it making sure that i've got all the nail all that half of the nail covered then i'm going to peel it off sometimes i like to rip it right off like I, like you would a wax strip um sometimes if you do it a little bit slower you can see if there are areas that haven't adhered properly and you can just go back over it um, i'm also going to be using this beautiful little art gel tub oh tub pot it's not a tub is it it's hardly a tub um this is um ugly ducklings white art gel and this is from caught you looking they do have a facebook group and a website i'll leave it in my description box for you so you can go and find them um so yeah so we're just creating that it's supposed to be a straight line it's, i think it's anything but straight at the minute <laughs> so this is why this is why striping tape is quite good but i really i really am liking this art gel at the minute and i'm trying to find things to do with it any old excuse nats so i'm gonna use my cleanup brush as well to just sort of neaten up this line as well because it's a little bit wonky little bit wonky donkey i'm just gonna dip the i've used a, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and i've just tapped off the excess and then with my moist brush i'm just gonna clean off <laughs> some of the gel that i don't want just to make it look a little bit more straight and then when i'm happy i will pop that into my led lamp for 60 seconds so the next nail i'm gonna go in with two coats of crispy cream doesn't that make you think of donuts and do you know what i want right now a donut oh, that's your first coat 30 seconds then your second coat I've got, I've got to get my dinner in a minute the kids have got turkey dinosaurs and i don't really fancy turkey dinosaurs tonight <laughs> 
pop your second coat into the lamp when you're happy again for 30 seconds then we're going to clean off the sticky layer again i'm using isopropyl alcohol on a supposed lymph free wipe i don't think it is lymph free so this time i am putting the foil gel glue on at an angle like that so this is a, a little bit tricky because you can't quite see where you're putting it but if you just look at the reflection of the light on the nail then you, you kind of you can see where you've gone and where you haven't and you just want to make sure that you've covered the entire area where you want the foil otherwise you're going to get patches so pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds without the hairs <laughs> and then i'm going to place the foil where i want it again just you can if you want to do you can do this with um a nice shadow applicator or a silicone tool i just do it with my finger and then when i'm happy i will peel that bad boy off just like that how nice is that you could take ages doing that by hand and you in seconds you can have nail art done in seconds it's brilliant okay now i'm using the gel art gel again from ugly duckling from the court you're looking website and we're going to try and make a straight line and um, also nail sugar have loads and loads of other foils and you can get 10 percent off using my code natmog10 as well as loads of glitters mm, so do go and check nail sugar all the links and everything will be in my description box below anyway so anything if you think oh where did you get that from or actually not not links to the products but links to the websites where i get the products from will be in the description box um, now i'm trying to i was kind of going for like a lace theme like not theme but a lace feel so i've got very little product on my brush and i'm just running the brush across the nail very lightly i want a very very thin layer these are really not in they're supposed to be like equally spaced apart but they're really not i just want a nice thin like a thin look and then i'm going to go across like that as well again i've got very little product on my brush and we're just going to create the lines this way now and you're going to need some, well i do it you, you can do it a different way which i will explain in a minute but i'm going to be using some white micro beads now you if your client doesn't like textured nails don't use the micro beads just use some gel paint on the end of a dotting tool um, i'll show you in a minute though you'll understand what i'm going on about in a minute so I'm going to go all the way to the end, like that. And then I'm going to give this a full cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. Okay, so these are the white microbeads I've got. I'm going to adhere them using Nelkami's Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. So on the end of my little dotting tool thing, I've got a little bit of the gem glue and I'm putting that where each of the lines meets. And then where I've put, I'm only going to do a few at a time because I will cure this as I go because I don't want them to move around so can you see where the where the lines meet I'm putting those little white micro beads on um I don't know why I use micro beads I just thought it was a bit different I think if I were to do it again I would use a dotting tool and just put some dots there um can you see so I'm going to do that all over the nail and yes yeah, so if your client doesn't like textures they're not going to like this um so I would do it with a with just the gel paint and then you'll have see because they stick up quite far but if you do it with the gel paint you'll have a nice flat surface now i'm going to go over with madam glam's <laughs> velvet matte top coat i'm going to make sure this is all in between those little micro beads this is going to give them a little bit of extra security as well so they won't fall off there we go i'm going to pop that in the lamp Actually, that's going to be the only matte nail of the whole set. For the rest of them, I'm using the No Wipe Top Gel. So that I'm going to, while I'm there, I'm going to top coat this one because this one's been sitting there with no top coat, and I don't want to get hairs. Oh no, I, I wiped off the tacky layer, didn't I? Oh, hair. <laughs> Pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds, and then we're going to move on to the next nail. So the next two nails. Are going to be they're not going to be the same but i'm going to go in with the uh, one coat of the vanilla um again a 30 second cure if i say that one more today i will probably scream 30 second cure then the second coat and then pop it in your lamp 
So this one, I'm going to top coat because I'm just going to have a full on gorgeous the vanilla nail because um, I absolutely love this, it's beautiful. Pop that in your lamp, now we're done. We're going to do the same thing now, but before we top coat, so we're on our second coat now. I didn't show you me doing the first coat because I didn't think it was worth it. And um, that's going to go in the lamp. And then while that's in the lamp, I'm going to take Krispy Kreme. And I've also brought Perfect White to the party. Oh, yes, I have. I'm going to pop a little bit of Krispy Kreme on my palette. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a little bit of Perfect White. And then I'm going to mix them in. But I used too much white. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit of the Krispy Kreme. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of a mix again. There we go. I don't want to do it too much because I don't want them to end up as a pale cream. And um, then I'm going to put the blooming gel over the nail. So this is, uh, you don't cure this. You put the gel polish on top of this. And the idea is that it helps to, it helps the gel polish to, to bloom, to spread. So I'm using my Born Pretty Ombre brush and I'm going to scoop a little bit of that marbled gel polish up and I'm going to start um, just gently, what's the word, spreading it across the nail. <laughs> don't pick up too much, um, you don't want the nail to be, uh, you don't want the, the gel polish to be too thick because if the gel polish is super pigmented, which some of these are, um, it will be too thick and it won't cure in the lamp. And then you'll end up with wrinkling and then you'll just have to start again because you don't want wrinkling because, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more at the bottom. And I actually really like that. I like the gold underneath. It's like a little, I don't know, it just looks nice. Pop that in the lamp to cure. And then I'm going to go over with Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. I do actually go ahead and give this a, a little bit of a file because it was really bumpy. And then I top coat it again. But I'm not going to show you me doing that because I just couldn't be bothered to show you. But that's what I do. I just like I just like it a little bit more smooth. I'm a weirdo about smooth nails. <laughs> okay, so that goes in the lamp. And then this is the this is the finished nails. Um, if you, if I were going to do an, a fifth, I'd probably add a a plain cream crispy cream nail but i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like um don't forget to check out madame glam you can get 30 percent off using my code natmug30 10 percent off nail sugar using my code natmug10 all in caps and yeah i'll leave caught your lookings website in the description box below as well so you can check out their gel paints and other stuffs thanks for watching and i will see you beautiful lot in the next one love you bye